Okay, right now I'm going to be setting up a grooving tool on the Prototrack lathe. First thing I have to do is uh, make sure that the tool itself is nice and straight, that it's not off at some angle. All right. Once we know that that's done, we we have our tool locked down, and we have to pick up the Z and the X. The first one I'm going to pick up is the Z. I'm going to go down in front of the face, the part that's already been faced. I'm going to use a piece of paper. This paper is just four thousandths of an inch thick, so I know that when I touch down on the edge of the part that I will be four thousandths away on the Z. So I'm going to get really close with it and move the paper back and forth and go really slow on the Z until that it grabs the paper. And when it grabs the paper, I know I'm about four thousandths away. Okay, that. Still a little bit more. There we go, four thousandths away. So at this point, I'm going to set my Z to zero on the control. So that's uh, go Z zero, absolute set on the control. I'm going to bring the tool back on the X, move down a little bit, and I'm also going to move in, into my X position now. So I'm going to use the paper again. I'm going to get really close bef before I put the paper in there and then slowly approach the part on the diameter. I'm going to touch it off. And again, four thousandths away. Now the trick here is with the X is a little different. Since we're, we're cutting on a, actually cutting on a radius, uh, we have to double the amount of that thickness. So I have to say that it's .008 bigger than whatever the diameter is. Okay. That's something you've got to remember. So I'm going to measure the diameter that I'm at right now. I'm using a caliper, but you really should be using a micrometer. I've got 0.984. So I add 8 thousandths to 0.984, and I get 0.982. That's going to be my X. X, 0.992. Absolute set. Okay, so this is how we, um, we position. X0 right now is back here. So if we zoom in, we can see that the tool at Z0 is right at the edge of the pipe there. Sorry for the jumpiness there. All right, right at the edge of the pipe. A little blurry, but you can see where we are. All right. Now I want to position a tool for cutting. I've got a groove. I'm going to pull this back so I don't smash the tool into the diameter. I'm going to position the edge of the tool over 500 thousandths. So on the Z, negative 0.5. And then I'm going to turn my spindle on first before I plunge in. And I'm going to plunge straight in on the X to cut the groove and then straight back out again. So this is how you do it. Make sure you feed it slowly. You don't want to go too fast. So you'll break the tool bit. So you allow the tool to do some cutting. And again, I'm going straight in on the X. Straight in. I'm going to go to a diameter of this groove to 0.850. And then back straight out again. Shut my spindle off. And I'm going to make that safe by hitting the mode key so I can measure the diameter. Now I'm going to have to go in with my calipers to measure the diameter because it's a very small slot that's in there. And it measures out at 850, so we've got a good groove. 